Hey there, everybody. I know that we have a few people waiting, but I'm just going to give it a minute or two just to let some more people join. But uh, just let me know that you guys can hear me good and that everything is uh, working properly. I'm here, as always, with my mom. Hello. And she is my comment reader. She saves my life so that the stream isn't seven go. hours long of me trying to read comments and draw right. so uh, okay I oh my see. gosh i just got a notification that chloe irl is live yep Ben's so here. here we Ben's are here how are we here. how are you guys seeing these comments how are you seeing these comments i am the moderator cool oh okay now i'm getting them so yeah we're just gonna today we're back drawing the knots coasters I'm going to give it a few minutes before we get started, but I'll just give a little bit of, um, a little bit of, what's, what's the word I'm looking, an introduction. Um, yeah, okay. So what are we going to do in I the meantime? So here, let hi. me know if you're, uh, well, we can see obviously who's here, Steven's but here. it's good to see you. Hi, we got Ben, nice. we got Connor, oh, we got some, so. some of my friends here. Thank you for joining. Um, today, yeah, we're going to be drawing the, the Knots coasters. Eat the box, Connor. That's Connor. Hi, Connor. <laughs> um, hello, John in L.A. Uh, yeah, we got, we got some, we got some fun people here today. And right, I wanted good. to say thank you to you guys for being so, um, excited and understanding about me taking a break from the Knots coasters last week and just doing some of the like a little relaxing just taking requests i really appreciate that i feel i feel refreshed like i'm ready to to make a character now and i did i did that thing again where i kind of sketched out what i wanted to do before and then i'm gonna just jump in straight with Wait, the line art you need to ask people if they can guess what coaster it is uh oh i'm trying i have the opacity pretty oh, low hey oh, there paul oh, perez there. um so, real quick, I'm going to turn up the opacity just a bit, and I want to see if you can kind of guess what coaster we're going to be drawing today. Oh, we have Ooh, Stephen Tar just watched season five of True Blood. Oh. <laughs> oh, well, thank you. Do you remember what seasons you were in? I was in four, five, and six. Yes. Yeah. Five the five. best seasons. I think five. Oh, he said he just started watching season oh. five. Yeah. I was going to say, in season five, she's not in it a lot because you had booked a pilot. Oh, yeah. I'm not and in season five a lot because if you can't hear my mom that well, yeah. I had booked a pilot. And so they were kind of like figuring out how to write my character if I, what, because it was a series regular for the pilot role, which means I would be on the, ep, like, you every episode. Really do, and you and so really I couldn't do really do other, other projects. So yeah. they were trying to figure out, like, if they were going to write me out of the show, how to do that. So I'm not in season five a well, lot, unfortunately. You, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Your character is in season five. Oh, my five character a lot. is season five a lot, but I'm not. Yeah. Um, but unfortunately, the pilot didn't get picked up. But it was, it was really it was such fun. A good pilot. That was a really fun experience because we got to spend a lot of time on the Warner Brothers set. Uh, Gigi says, glad to see you're doing another session. I love them. Oh, Thank Tommy's you. here. He says, hi, how are you? All right. I feel like we can get started now. So yeah. today we are drawing Sierra Sidewinder. I wanted to take a break from some of the, like, the big, like, the big ones. Because we did Silver Bullet and Hang Time and Ghost Rider. I feel like we're just blowing through them. Like, I want to take the time, maybe do a smaller coaster. And I really love Sierra Sidewinder because it was one of my first, like, big kid coasters oh. because yeah, I feel it's like located in Camp Snoopy. it's located in Camp Snoopy but I feel like it's it's a step up because I think like Space Mountain was my first um like yeah, big probably. kid coaster yeah. well because we had Disney passes yeah first. I had Disney passes for a long time before uh we switched you over not passes I think too or maybe like 13 or yeah 14. But you had had Disney passes since you were a baby. Yeah, since I was a baby, we've had Disney passes. And I was also, I mean, I say was, I still am. I'm very short. For those of you who don't know, I'm 5'1", if I'm being generous. And I'm very short. And I was very short as a little kid. 
And so I never, I always wanted to ride big coasters, but... Yeah, in fact, I think in True Blood, you were supposed to be six in the first, in the fourth yeah. season, even though you were actually like eight, almost nine. Yeah, so I, I was a, I was a, I still am, a little shorty. Um, Dan says, hi, Chloe, and then Tommy says, I heard San Diego Comic-Con this year yeah. is canceled. Yeah, That's a which bummer. is really unfortunate. I'm sad, like, everything's canceled, E3... Comic-Con, WonderCon was canceled, Anime Expo was canceled, like, but, Midsummer Scream is I hope Midsummer Scream better not be canceled. Because that's the Halloween so, convention. Yeah, so if anyone's still going outside, uh, we, we need Halloween to be here, so, come on. Uh, but, uh, it makes sense, because it's, it, like, goes against everything that we should be doing. Comic-Con, you're just packed like like sardines oh, into yeah, that convention no, there's center. No it, there's no way it could Even have if it ever had happened. Been canceled, I wouldn't have gone. I don't know about you. No, but I no, because you're you're. There's just so many people, and you're so close. I feel bad for our. We have a really good yay friend. more short people. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> but um, yeah, we have a really good friend, um, Emily the Strange. Oh yeah. And in fact, we we met him through Comic Con, and uh, it's. I, I feel bad for the vendors who really look at that that con as being kind of a big jolt to their businesses. So definitely support small business. Oops. You know, if you have friends or if you like people at Comic Con that you always yeah. want to see, go follow them. Go, go buy see from if they them. have online shops too. I know a lot of people are doing online shops, and I think I just read on Knotts's. Instagram that they're doing curbside pickup from yes, the Berry Mart. Yes. So I think we might. Boys and berry jam. I think we <laughs> might just have to go because I'm like I feel so bad for Knots with you know it being the hundred year anniversary that I this know. just hit at that the was worst time. Very, very sad. Um, Tommy says I'm glad MegaCon is not canceled. Oh, Ooh, I'm not sure Megacon? what MegaCon is, but. Sounds interesting. Steven says, I also found your episode of Dead Time Stories on YouTube, Chloe. Oh, great. You were little for that, I was too. little. I what do you mean? Again, I still am a little started, thing. <laughs> she started professional acting when she was eight, and I think that was one what? of your... Was it, oh, maybe you were about nine or ten, though, in that. But she looked very, very tiny. Um... Tommy Hold says, on. and Scoob is moved to streaming platforms instead of theaters. Yeah. Probably a good oh. thing. Oh. Oh, someone called the night says hello. Oh, it's Jacob. Jacob? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Hi, awesome. Jacob. Hi guys. Thanks for joining in. So, oh right, I'm getting off topic. We're drawing Sierra Sidewinder today, and I will be honest, it is hard to turn the coasters into people because there's not. You it's not be. like a themed like a, for instance a scary farm maze where there's a lot of story to go off of. Right. Even something like uh, Calico River Rapids has like story behind it you but should probably tell where the coaster is oh yeah sierra sidewinder if you don't know is located in camp snoopy and uh, MC design. oh hi oh my gosh ben's all excited that jacob's here we got the whole gang um uh, but go back to but yes I so it's located in in camp snoopy and this is kind of like if you're gonna go from like Timberline Twister, which was my very first roller coaster, and I loved it, and if you don't know where that is, it's kind of by, oh, I think it's the, well, it's in the little bus ride in Camp yeah. Snoopy. I think it's next to that, and then it's like that's the starter, and then you go on Sierra Sidewinder, then you move on to like Montezuma's, Montezuma's Revenge, yeah. and so I thought that it's kind of like the big kid ride of Camp it's Snoopy, kind of the most thrilling ride. For Camp Snoopy, and which even then, it's fun. Like oh, I no. still go on Sierra Sidewinder well, no, all the I was time. Say, you, you cut me off. But I was going to say it's the most thrilling ride at Camp Snoopy, but it is a like a thrilling ride. Yeah, it's really fun. Um, and so I thought that it'd be really cute to make Sierra Sidewinder kind of the camp counselor of. Camp Snoopy, and I like to imagine like the like the rides in Camp Snoopy are like the little campers. So, stay tuned for uh, Timberline Twister because that might be one of the little camp oh, little, little, little campers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, and so I thought it'd be cute if she was like a camp counselor that 
kind of, you know, always grew up going to the camp, and then, you know, she grew up to be a camp counselor. And so that's kind of the idea that I'm going to go with for today. And I really, I really, I gotta say, I really like this uh, design. It, I think it's one of my favorites um, so far. And something I really wanted to do was include a lot of little Camp Snoopy references. Um, so I'll talk about them. Oh, I don't know what my tablet's doing, but okay. All right. Sorry about that. But I will kind of go through and talk about them more as I, as I go through. And I'm my brain you guys know by this point it takes me like five minutes to say something <laughs> I feel like I'm just repeating what I'm saying but uh you know that's just that live streaming life um Tommy says that he was using Disney plus and watching that so Raven oh interesting and was on that and same with I think Jordan we had a couple of friends that that did some spots on that show that's so wait um, no isn't that so oh, Raven's home. Yeah. Raven's home. I'm like, uh, I don't think Sorry. that they did that unless they were little babies. <laughs> it's the re reboot continuation of it. And then Tommy also says that he finished <gasps> every The Scooby live action Scooby Doo movies are on Amazon Prime? <gasps> uh, hey, since Ben is in the chat, I think I know what we're going to do uh, eventually this weekend. We're going to we're going to watch the Scooby Doo live action movies. There you go, Tommy. That's, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for letting Thank me you know. For that. He said all the Scooby shows, and I already have all the Scooby Doo. Where are you? A complete series on DVD. Oh, I watched Scooby Doo oh every my day when I was a little peanut. You did? I did. I I'm surprised. With my cousins. Oh, After true. After school, we would watch Scooby Doo, but it was always so frustrating because it was always the same format, and that like was frustrating to me. I can't tell if this mouth is like weird, but I did something new with my line art, so I can like make textured line art now. It's really this. pretty. This is a big drawing today. It'll be okay. So why don't you just mention again because people are joined? Oh that, yes, to anyone doing. who is joining today, we're drawing. Oh my gosh, okay. Not Sierra Roll Sidewinder. Roll well, we're drawing the Knots coasters, and in that coaster category, we're drawing Sierra Sidewinder. Who's gonna be a little camp counselor? And I love her. I think she's so cute. And her name is Sierra. And this is just these are just the facts. This is just what's happening. Oh. <laughs> no, we'll still watch Tiger King. I just started watching Tiger King um with Ben. And oh my gosh, that is a wild ride. <laughs> that is a wild ride. And now all the memes are making sense that you yes see all over yes the yeah i'm starting to understand it now but oh man that is a crazy show cartoon network is awesome tommy cartoon network is awesome i'll tell you guys a really fun semi-embarrassing story about uh me and cartoon network as a little girl i always wanted to be the um like the the cnn guys oh man i loved them the cnn like no, the C and N oh. characters. Like, I remember Cartoon Network had these guys dress up in, like, a C and an N box oh, yeah. because it was Cartoon Network. I wanted to be the spokesperson for Cartoon Network because I'm Chloe Noel, C N. Ah, that's right. And I was going to say, this is C N, and you're watching C N. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, thank you for the super chat. Thank you so much. I'm telling you, I'm going to sound like every YouTuber, but I love seeing those pop up because they're so pretty. <laughs> they're so, pretty. <laughs> they're you, so cute. Okay, so since I'm getting close to her little, like, hair tie, I realize now that it kind of looks like, um, like, no, it kind of looks like a little foxtail, but it'll make sense once the colors are there. Uh, I really badly wanted to do, like, Charlie Brown's little... Um, like stripes, zigzag. Yeah, yeah, I, I like really wanted it, to do that. Keep it, keep it. Oh, you could do Charlie. You could make it yellow. And I thought it would be cute because yeah. I have like little hints to like the peanuts in here. Oh yeah, you should then you know, make she's it like yeah. The counselor of Camp Snoopy, and if you can see down here, 
well, it's hard to see, but it's a Sally and Charlie Brown uh, friendship bracelet. Oh, cute. You know, and I you make friendship cute. bracelets. Cartoon too. Network is awesome. Um, Fred sets the trap and the monster gets thwarted and the monster gets a mask and it's a guy or a woman or someone they just taken to jail and the mystery is solved. Exactly. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Too funny. And then Tommy, I think Tommy knows pretty much everything about movies and TV. Says, oh, oh yeah, CNN, Cable News Network, that and Cartoon Network owned by the Turner Company. That's impressive, Tommy. I know. You, like, know everything. Paul, last week was good, but I have to admit, I've been listening around my house. <laughs> well, Not that you can hear with It's in ears, my room. But, you know, I've just been listening a little closer around the house and, and looking a little closer. You got in my head, Mr. Pro, Pro, Mr. Paul Perez. <laughs> Can I just say that I'm really digging the color of this line art? Like the brown, I'm gonna really quickly save this color. Um, just cause it's really nice how it's like that warm brown. I like it, it's really pretty. Yikes, that was not a cute. I think you should do the little chevron on her. I think that's really cute. Okay, then maybe I should do it like there, wait, no. Yeah, so you can see that it's, that's good. Yeah. So you can see that it's a zigzag. Who's your favorite Peanuts character, guys? Chime in. I would have to say, mine is Snoopy. Because Snoopy. Wow, that's a, that's a basic opinion. Uh, it's Sno How can you deny Snoopy? He's well, Snoopy's cutest. great, but I think my favorite, oh man, I knew this for a while. I really like Linus. I, I really good. like, oh, well, okay. Pigpen's cool and everything, but I like his when he comes out during Peanuts yeah. celebration. But Linus overall, you like? But yeah, I think it's Linus. He's just he's so nice. I like. Ah, him. okay. So Paul says sorry. <laughs> uh, you know, it's yes, fine. it's fine until I stay up till three o'clock in the morning and then I'm scared. <laughs> And then Gigi says, speaking of Cartoon Network, I really miss regular show. Yay, Ricky. Yes, I miss regular show as well. That was a good show, but, like, it was, like, kind of out there. It was okay, kinda not kind of out there. It was out there. Oh, that's true. We really love Cartoon Network because we loved Adventure Time. And, in fact, we named our dog Bemo after Oh, Bimo. yeah. Our dog, his name is B our dog, his name is Bemo. Wow. Our dog's name. Our dog's name is Bimo. Bob Press says Woodstock. Thumbs up to Woodstock. <gasps> Yay, we got some Woodstock fans in, and in the Steven chat. And Turquoise said, hi, just wanted to say you both are awesome for doing these live streams. Oh, thank you. Also, did you see the good news that Knott's is doing curbside pickup? Yes. Yes, okay. Everybody um, order boysenberry barbecue sauce. I know. We should go get, get some. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we don't live like we live semi close yeah, to knots, but close I'm enough. like desperate to get out of the house, so I'm willing to just make the drive, order like two bottles of boysenberry barbecue sauce, and maybe punch. even some dressing. Punch and dressing. Punch and dressing. And uh yeah. <laughs> Go support knots. Dan says spike. He likes spike. <gasps> spike was I new love this year. spike. Dan, I, I can't remember if you're local to Southern California, but at the Peanuts Festival this year, Spike was in person. He was a character, and it was awesome. Oh, my gosh. He was so cute. Jacob says Peppermint Patty, dude. Oh, Peppermint Patty is great. She's just, yeah, she's Peppermint Patty. She's fun, but I don't like her sandals. I like Marcy. I don't like her shoes. I like Marcy. Is that okay? sir. I know. Um, Tommy says, if you, I don't know if you remember a pup named Scooby-Doo, because that one may have the gang as kids. But it's being like a satire of the Scooby-Doo stuff we had before. And then Stephen Turquoise, oh, I'm going to sneeze, says also, what character are you drawing? Also, I love all the Peanuts characters. It's too hard to choose. If I had to choose my three, it would be Snoopy, Linus, and Peppermint Patty. Ooh, we got some Peppermint Patty fans. She's kind of like, I haven't seen a lot of people being like, oh, that's yeah. my favorite. So I like that we got some diversity in I the like to, opinions. Like, have York peppermint patties. Those are delicious. <gasps> yes. Well, peppermint patty is great. I, oh, yeah. For those uh, who are joining, I'm drawing Sierra Sidewinder as a coaster. Oh, no, and the Sierra Sidewinder. Oh, not as a coaster. coaster. As a character. <laughs> I just like draw and some. And then Gigi says, I can't help it, but I love Snoopy. Yay, Gigi. She, she said, I get so excited when I see him at Knott's and I'm a grown woman. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my gosh, Gigi, if you want something special, you should go to the hotel and have Snoopy Oh tuck my you gosh, in. the Snoopy tuck in. Pajamas and his little tail and it's pokes the cutest out. cutest thing ever. Uh, Who's see. the little piano fella? That's Schroeder. Oh, wait, you're skipping ahead. So Tommy says Kristen Shaw was on Adventure Time as Jake Jr. and Nikki Yang voiced Rain um, Rainicorn and Bimo and did Candy I and love Gravity her. Falls. I love her. her. Do you remember we met her? She was just walking yes. in Comic Con. Yes. She's so cute. I yes. love her She's so tiny much. Too. And then Paul Perez says Woodstock because, again, great things come in small packages. Aww. I agree with that one. Woodstock's pretty great. Steven Tarr says, my mom loves Snoopy, but I like Schroeder myself. Good call. Uh, ben says, who's the little plate piano fella? Yeah, I'm going to see it. Schroeder. And Dan says, yes, I was there. I'm in Anaheim. Oh, okay, good. Good, good, good. Yes, but it was cool to have Spike there. Spike yeah. and Pen and... I like Franklin, too. Franklin comes out during Peanuts Festival. Oh, hold on. I'm sorry. I don't like that. Um, why, is it, why is it CS? Oh, Camp Snoopy. For Camp Snoopy. <laughs> I was like Sidewinder. I'm like, wait, it's not C. Never mind. Oh, and, um, oh, hold on. I'll talk about it later. Sorry. I'm eating my streaming snacks, which today, today's streaming snacks are Oreos, gummy worms, and Diet Mountain Dew. As her mother, I'm a bit sad that those are the snack choices, but... <laughs> what should be even more saddening is that this is the... There, there's an empty Mountain Dew can on oh, my desk oh, with me, the full me, one. No, no, you're making me look bad. I love Mountain Dew. That's, uh, like, my love, favorite soda. Our chats again. Okay. What's your guys' favorite soda? Or, for those of you who don't drink soda, what's your favorite drink? That us is kind of funky. Bill Perez with Snoopy's voice. Snoopy doesn't speak, but he does laugh in other songs. Yes, Tommy, I love his little laugh. And, and you guys are all forgetting that Snoopy howls in Beach Blanket Beagle. Oh, he does. It was so cute. Ow, ow, ow. It's so cute. Paul says, so would you say the Peanuts Gang and the Little Rascals are somewhat the same character? <laughs> Ben's favorite soda is water. Oh, I'm behind. Okay. Um, so would you say that the peanut, Peanuts Gang and Little Rascals? Yeah, there's a lot of similarities. You don't know the Little That wasn't really my well. generation. Although you did audition for it. Well, that was a reboot. Um, Tommy says Bill Men um, Melendez, not Bill Perez. Yes, that's right. My mistake. And then Jacob says, eat your carrots and peas, child. No. Do you eat? Oh, yeah, you eat carrots. Uh, ben says, water. Stephen Turquoise says, also, even though they do have the items from the berry market, they did not put in the two items, the boysenberry sarsaparilla and the boysenberry soda, but that's fine. Those are the items I was going to try. Stephen, I think they do sell the boysenberry concentrate, and you can You can make that with, with club water. Or like club soda? Or yeah. Like, yeah. I know there's a couple other things that they do in the, in the soda. Actually, didn't we have a video on that? We recorded a video, but the sound was bad, so I, I don't know. I'll have to check and see. No, we didn't have one. That was on the Calico Soda, and in we I think we did post the Calico Soda. I think it was the other one that got messed up. Uh, check out the Calico Soda, though. Guys, did we post a video? Because we can't bad. remember. No, it was like two <laughs> years ago, but um, that might have a, something that would be similar to the boysenberry soda. All right, so I gave her a little Snoopy patch, so we're going to attempt to recreate that. Stephen agrees that Mountain Dew is the best. It's so good. Um, oh, Ben says that his mom's homemade lemonade. Oh, is yes. His favorite. Oh, Paul Perez had a good a good vote. He said Boba. Don't, <gasps> don't say that Paul yes. Perez is dying for Boba. Yes. Um, Stephen Turquoise says my favorite soda is Sprite. His favorite juice is apple juice. Yum. Apple juice is the superior juice. No other apple juice, juice. except for boysenberry juice. Well, they, they don't make There's boysenberry no juice, juice, but they make boysenberry punch. Apple juice, that's where it's at. I don't know, cranberry juice. Stephen Torquay says, I also forgot to say I love strawberry banana smoothies, and I love winter melon milk tea. Ooh. Ooh what is yummy. winter melon? And then Dan says Mountain Dew. Yes. Another Mountain Dew. 
Um, and then Tommy says, Brian from Family Guy was inspired by Snoopy because they have one thing in common. They want to be writers. Oh, interesting. Oh, that's interesting. I did not know that. Actually. I think Snoopy's... Oh, look at your cute Snoopy. Thank you. Oh my gosh, she's so cute, Chloe. Thank you. I've never seen Chloe I draw swear, Snoopy before. I swear, sometimes... Well, I draw him sometimes in my sketchbooks and stuff, but sometimes when I draw Snoopy, it's either, like, really cute like this one, or it's the worst, most cursed thing oh, I've ever so seen, cute. and there's no in-between. That's fun. So, again, this is a character based on Sierra Sidewinder and Kip Snoopy from Knott's Berry Farm, drawing people as coasters. Yep, she's got a little Snoopy patch. So cute. Oh, did you write a name on the name tag? Mm-mm. All right, guys, you know what time it is. Well, no, we have already just, we've already chosen her name. What's her name? Sierra! Oh, How could it not be? Oh, okay. Good call. Uh, Oops. The movie Snoopy Come Home. Snoopy Come Home. Uh, always has their old ways in Croc who's saying you're a meme on Mr. Grinch. Say no dogs allowed every time Snoopy gets thrown out of the place is not allowed at all. Why are people so mean to Snoopy? Steve Just like Tar Lucy. Was was the did the nice thing and said he loves cran apple juice. It's cranberry Ooh, and apple juice. Yeah. Yes, good call. Good call. I wonder where Queen Sapphire is today. I know. Doesn't don't you guys know that you just <laughs> have to watch these live streams? You're committed to come play with us. Live streams. I know, and Robert, we have a couple of people missing. I know. Today. It's like, where are you guys? I like how we have our regulars, though. Me too. It's so nice to see you guys. Of course, now you see people. Yeah, like my friends. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Now, but it's nice. It's nice having uh, everyone here. It's like a it's like a little family. It is. It's so nice to have everyone here. That's cute. I know, I was really I was like so proud of myself with this one. I'm like, oh my gosh. Yeah, it's, like, it's like it's like the peanuts. You have a bunch of Easter eggs. Oh, and I did I realize now I didn't tell you guys about her little earring. It's a balloon. Her earring's a little balloon because if you are a Knott's fan like me, you know that Sierra Sidewinder kind of is near or kind of goes around the little balloon, the balloon ride. ride. Um, and so I was like, what if we just tossed that little Easter egg in? I love it. I know, I think I need to include more Easter eggs. It's fun. It adds a nice little touch. It is, and it, it helps um, the character design process. If anyone has some, like, drawing questions either, feel free. Has anyone else been playing Animal Crossing as much as me? Because... I mean, if you guys want some uh, Animal Crossing streams, I mean, that could happen. That could happen, definitely. If, you, if you'd like that, I would definitely be able to make that happen. Because I love Animal Crossing. It's so much fun. Okay, so Steven said, I actually told my family and friends I need six to eight Eastern clear on Friday night so I don't miss Chloe's live stream since I'm in Pennsylvania. Aww, oh, thank you. Best, oh, Thanos is here. <laughs> um, Tommy says, my mom said the same thing, by the way. Uh, that's even better to order Scoob on demand and watch it there since it's cheaper. Oh, interesting. And Thanos says, yes, please. Woohoo! We got Thanos nice in the, to in see the you, chat. Thanos. <laughs> Oops. Yes, it's always good when Thanos is chatting and not 
you know, destroying destroying people or yeah. things. Galaxy. <laughs> well, stab your good side, Thanos. So an old video of Chloe and a friend at a Korean store. Oh, what yeah. What video Audrey. is... Oh, right. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Chloe's going to order some off of Amazon. That's our friend Aubrey um, Anderson Emmons. She's from Mom and Family. Go uh, give her a follow they are on doing, Instagram. Actually, her and her mom, they have a YouTube channel called Food Mania Review. Are they still posting? They just started doing, um, like, the like the day of in quarantine. Like, they'll do a little like, Oh, a little nice. Every day. Oh, Gigi. Uh, thank thank you. you. She says, we like being your regulars on these Friday live streams. Keep them coming. Oh, thank, thank you, you so much. Um, it's a shame there's no big premiere for Scoob the movie because my friend Lisa Minotti was one of the animators for the lighting. Wow. And we thought she'd get invited to the premiere. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. a bummer. And invite me too to the premiere. Yeah, that's that's a bummer. A lot of things had to be canceled and a lot of things mm -hmm. people had to miss out on. And Yeah. I'm opening my I'm opening my water. It's not water. She's opening her LaCroix. <laughs> We've all tasted new things this quarantine. I know. Tried new things. <laughs> um, oh, Aubrey from Modern Family. Modern Family just ended up following her now. Yeah, she's... Chloe and her met years and years ago when she was six at an event and just became really good friends and we used to do a lot of stuff with them. We had a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple of videos on their channel. and I, I, We weren't really doing YouTube at that time. So I don't think we have any on our channel of Aubrey. Well, we, he just said that's how we got started on the topic about how well, no, I was no. walking around a Korean store yeah, with her. Yeah, but it was... I don't think we have that on ours. Maybe it's a liked video. Maybe. Or a video with friends or something. Maybe. Because that was on their channel. It was for Food ah. Mania Review. Uh-oh. Um, Aubrey oh. has her YouTube page talking about food. Yes, it's called Food Mania Review. Definitely, if you go over there, tell them that your friends of Chloe will get a kick out of that. I think yeah. She has, so she's a pretty big TikTok, too. Oh, yeah. She's gotten big on yeah. TikTok. Her birthday's coming up, too. I know there's some other people in the chat who is also really into TikTok. <clears throat> Connor. <laughs> I'm drinking a cup of code red Mountain Dew. <gasps> I would do anything for some for some code red Mountain Dew. Code red Mountain Dew is so good. Maybe not anything. Okay. Not anything. But Chloe has begged me to order it every time I grocery yep. shop. But you know what the best Mountain Dew is? You know what the best one is? That Skittle Voodoo one. The Voodoo. The Halloween Mountain Dew. It tastes like pure Skittle juice. Which, I don't know if you knew this, but Skittles are my favorite candy. And so when I found out that I could just drink just the like the pure extract of skittles i was thrilled it's so unhealthy Tommy, but Tommy's talking about the episode of modern family little bo bleep that has lily say the f word oh the yeah i heard did not want her to say the f word so she would say fudge instead though they still bleep to make it sound like it that's Audiences nice think that, she, that lily had said the f word i remember i remember that a episode lot of fun with that oh yeah <laughs> I feel like any opportunity where kids can, like, swear and it's like, oh, it's for acting. Yeah. <clears throat> it's for acting. They love it. Oh, I don't, oh, Skittle no. Skittle juice like Skittles. <laughs> the soda just tasted what it we It tasted it would like, be like Skittles. If you melted Skittles down and turned them into a juice. That's what it tasted like. Okay, so as you guys know from the, from the. Ooh, you got a cute little face. Oh, Sunset Angel. I like that little face. It's cute. It's like a little that bear face. Cute. Welcome to our chat. Um, so if, if you guys can remember from the hang time one, I'm no good at drawing little little footsies and shoes. No good at that. 
Um, but we're going to try because I was like, Sierra Sidewinder, we got to get like some spinning in there. Like, you know, the big wheels on Sierra Sidewinder. So, Sunset Angel, I think, just joined us. What coaster are you drawing right now? Oh, I'm drawing Sierra Sidewinder, and that is in Camp Snoopy. But I thought, wouldn't it be cute? Wouldn't it be cute if she had Heelys? Yes. And that was, like, her main, and she would, like, spin around. Sorry, I'm, like, swallowing weird. She would be spinning around on her Heelys. Very and so cute. I was like, oh, yes, let's do this. And so she's going to have Heelys. So just, if it doesn't look good, let's pretend it does. Because <laughs> it's, the, it's the inspiration that it's, counts. Yes, yes. Uh, and let's just pretend that I can draw shoes for just a little bit. Actually, Sunset Angel, are you local? Do you, Are you familiar with Knott's Berry Farm? <laughs> ben just said, is she wearing Heelys? Yep. And Tommy says that the Spongebob episode, Sailor Mouth, did the same thing with dolphin noises. <gasps> I remember that I episode. Like that episode. I remember. I did. Yes, he answered his own question. Yep, she's wearing Heelys. That's right. She's one of those, I think she would be one of those that was like, oh, don't worry, kids, I'm a cool camp counselor. <laughs> I'm, I'm not strict. And she, That's like, cute. tries hard to be cool. And, oh, like, no. Heelys are dangerous. Some really you, cool you people. Allowed to wear I wasn't allowed to wear Heelys, but I also wasn't allowed to, like, ride a bike until Sunset. I was, like, <laughs> so much older than I should have been. Sunset Angel said, yeah. So she's local. Okay, okay cool. Um, Tim Burton-themed place. Beetle House is closed right now. <gasps> we have been We've there. been to Beetle House. Go watch my video yeah, about Beetle House. Yeah, I was going to say there's a video on Beetle House. That was a fun night. Oh my gosh. If you live in LA and you are a fan of Beetlejuice, Tim Burton, that is <gasps> so much fun. Wouldn't you say that was a great time? That was really fun. And the food there was like really good because a lot of the time at like the theme places, the food isn't super good. Um, but the food there was really tasty. It was delicious. Oh my gosh. Um, Steven says yeah. he has to disagree with you. My best That's... not do with my opinion is the Taco Bell Baja Blast, which I'm craving, but I can't yeah. eat since my local Taco Bell is closed right now. Yeah. You like Baja Blast, though. I, oh, I like Baja Blast. I like all the Mountain Dew flavors. I haven't tried the ice. That's the only one I haven't tried, but I've tried, um... The blue, oh gosh, the red. The, the, what's the name? It's Code Red. Baja Blast. There's the Voodoo. There was the Cranberry one for Christmas. There's Diet and Regular. And then you tried that blue one. It's the, cool. Yeah, Voltage. That's what it is. It's Code Red, Voltage, and Ice. I have way too much knowledge about Mountain <laughs> Dew. <laughs> Angel says um, she loves ah. Mott's. Her favorite coaster there is Montezuma's Revenge. Yes, mine too. That's my Love mom's that fave. One. Then you should go on it. I have to ask, um, Stephen, you're in Pennsylvania. What's the weather there like? Because it's, I'm sure, very different than it is here. Oh, it's so hot here. <laughs> it's so hot right now. What do you think you do for Montezuma's Revenge? I don't know. <laughs> do you have some ideas? I haven't thought that far yet. I have an idea. Oh, what's your idea? Do you want me to tell you, or should we wait? Yeah, let's hear it. Well, because it's in um, Fiesta Village, wouldn't it be cute if she were like a... <gasps> oh, you told me this. Yeah, yeah. I say she, but maybe she's a he. I think I had planned out kind of like vague ideas and like what I want them to be uh, when I first got the idea to start doing this, but I forgot if I had said that Montezuma's Revenge was a boy or a girl. Um, Tommy says Tim Burton is known for his dark movies like Beetlejuice and Edward Scissorhands. I love During both of those his movies. Disney days, he was an animator until he was fired. Stop an motion animation was really Burton's opportunity. Um, uh, but really, one of your favorite Tim Burton movies is his first movie that he ever directed. Tommy, do you know what that is? It's one of Chloe's favorites. We'll give him a chance to answer that one. Oh no, Sunset Angel, we were saying we don't know if the character for Montezuma's Revenge is going to be a boy or a girl. Yeah. 
Sorry about that. I know. I wasn't saying that. <laughs> I didn't make it clear. We were talking about the character. I apologize. Um, Paul Perez says, can you draw Snoopy in the background? <laughs> With the Jason Voorhees mask. <laughs> Oh, Steven, you lucky. It's 57 degrees and really nice out. It's like 90s here. It's it's so hot. In fact, if you guys... Tommy got it right! Yay! <laughs> if you guys can hear it in the background, it's... um. Two fans. It's my two fans. That's how toasty it is. Yes, Pee-wee's Big Adventure. That is a wonderful movie. So good. You loved that movie for a long time, and then Chloe got to meet Pee-wee, and it was very exciting. Oh, I met Pee-wee at a place you guys would never expect. <laughs> the True Blood rap party. Pee-wee no, it Herman. Premiere. It was the premiere. Oh, it was the premiere after party. Yes. I, that's where I met Pee-wee Herman. And, uh... That was quite exciting. That is just not where you... Sometimes life surprises you. Connor says it's really hot outside. Yeah, it really is. Real yes. toasty. Look at uh, I forgot to erase the sketch of her foot so you can see the foot oh, inside the shoe. Oh, you're such a dork. Oh, I have a question. All right, I like when I, I like asking questions. Um, what is everyone's plan after the live stream? Because my plan for the weekend, or for the for the weekend, and just for tonight. Well, I know it's night for some people, but uh, my plans is, my plans is, my plans are, you guys know what I'm trying to say. My plans are to, that doesn't sound right either, it's fine, are to play uh, Animal Crossing and Overwatch tonight. And help me. And make dinner. So here she is. I think she's super cute. She is very cute. So we're gonna we're gonna color her face, color her real quick. I feel like this is. Uh, ben says homework. Oh, that's always fun. Up all to Megacon. He was the Penguin's father in Burton's sequel to Batman. Batman Returns and voice uh, Locke in the one dressed as the Devil in Nightmare Before Christmas. Nice. Oh, very cool. Steven Tar says, have you tried the new Mountain Dew Frostbite? No. It tastes like a better version of the Voltage. I tried it for the first time oh, yesterday. Oh, gosh. I need it. Gosh, you should do a blind taste test, and that's a video we should do. Mm, that's a not really the color I want. We should do a blind taste testing of Mountain Dews. Mountain Dews. Okay, so I thought she would kind of like have little orange hair and freckles because... It seems very similar to the colors of... That looks pretty brown, though. You think? I think it should be a bit oranger. I think it should be more orange. Oranger. Like Orangier. Really really True. Hair. It's red. Um, okay, so Sunset Angel. To watch Knott's Berry Farm all day and night. I usually do this all the time after Corona has started... Do you watch their live cams or do you watch like videos or POV rides or what's your favorite thing to watch? I like watching the old uh, scary farm mazes that were before my time. Yes. Those are fun. I know we have some knots videos too that were almost ready to go up. I'm so sad. <sighs> I know. We had two videos that could have gone up, but we had to film like one piece of each, each, each of them to make it happen. And I'm so sad that we didn't film them. And we actually, we said to ourselves, "Oh, we're gonna go film on whatever day it was." Like I think. Yeah, we'll be back, yeah, so we'll it'll go be next fine. Next week, and the next week was when it shut down, and we never. And it's, I'm telling you, it's like we had two minutes left to film, and I'm so bummed. Uh, Tommy says, yeah, Locke was one of the three trick-or-treaters working for Oogie Boogie and sent by Jack to kidnap Santa Claus so he could take over his job on Christmas Eve. It's such a good movie. I love that. Paul says, Saturdays he's heading to my garage and work on my project car, as you can see by my YouTube uh, profile picture. I'm a Mopar man. 
Ooh. What's a Mopar? Ah, he likes POV rides. Yeah. Oh, and then POV says, rides are oh, fun. Oh, Pinocchio Unstrung Maze is <gasps> so cool. I wish I was there to go in the maze. It was a fun maze. I remember that was there talked, like, my the first year. year. We, we it maze. was the second to last year. Um, oh, they even had a skeleton key room, didn't they? Pinocchio Unstrung, did it have skeleton I it key? it did. But I don't remember. Okay, the intensity of that grade is a little much. So we were just yeah, that was a fun maze, Tone though. it down. They had this big, weird-looking Jimmy Cricket in it, too. That was scary. Yeah, and Super I feel scary. like... Oh! I feel like that that is... Uh, they used that they from... Used the cage. No. Yeah, the cage was in something else recently. Oh, yes! It's in Dark Ride. The, uh, one of the little donkeys is in Dark Ride. If you go into the storage room of Dark Ride, you can see there's stuff from so many mazes in there which i think is so cool i i know a lot of people get like mad about reused props but and it's like perfectly but also i think it's fun because to 90 percent of the people going in the mazes it's their one time at scary farm they're like oh let's go do this with our friends so it's like it's not like the people who are totally obsessed with it like we all are are gonna remember hey wait a second was that prop in delirium? Personally, I think it's, I think really it's fun great when you see things that you've seen before. I think that, I mean, again, if they're not mm -hmm. used in a new and different way, then yeah, I mean, I can see how that would be a little frustrating. But I think it's fun when they throw the little nods of past mazes in there. I like think, the yeah, I think eggs. that's really fun. Like, I love in Origins how there's oh. stuff to represent, like, the scare zones in there like their witch has like a little yeah. shrine that represents all the scare zones and i think that that's great yeah um let's see tommy says peewee's big adventure had stop motion in it the dream sequence with the dinosaur eating his <gasps> bike i love that part and large marge oh she's your favorite face. that's my favorite she's your Those favorite stop motion animated effects since tim burton is a stop motion animator himself and Beetlejuice has stop motion animation too. Yep. If you remember the sandworms, and I think didn't the um her her um her sculptures, the mom sculptures. Yes. Li not Lydia. Not no. Lydia is the daughter. I don't her remember name. her mom's name, but yeah, but her things were stop. They did some stop motion there too. Um, Stephen has to do dishes. Stephen Tarr has to do dishes and finish cleaning my apartment this weekend. Ah. I have yeah. dishes to do, too, so if it makes you feel any better, we're all in the same boat. Oh, oh! What? Jeff Delgado <gasps> Oh, my gosh! A, a super chat. Oh, my goodness. Thank you so oh, much. Hope to see you, work. too. Oh, good. In you fact, said. right Hope there. Yes, your posters hanging in Chloe's room. I love it. I look at it every single day. And I always sometimes, if I'm bored, which I'm bored a lot now, I like to go through and see, like, which ones I can like see from each maze? Cause I love that it's more like there's specific maze ones, yeah. you know. Like, oh, okay, but I have to ask since you're here, why is my tablet freaking out? Um, who is the like girl with the bright uh, fluorescent hair? Who is she? Ah, uh, yes, up in like next to the chicken. Next to the chickens. I need to ask. Jeff, if you're who? still here. Is she? Because I constantly look at her. I'm like, what is she from? Tommy so says Paul Rubens was a nice guy and very sp soft-spoken. Yes, he was. Mm-hmm. Um, Mopar is short for more part for Dodge Chrysler Jeep cars. I have a garage in Temecula that houses my collection. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Um, Delia Dietz's sculptures. Yes, Delia. That's her name. Jeff says he's honored. Oh, it's on I'm honored it's up in your room. Yeah. Oh, yep. Right here. I have all of my art. In fact, I think if you go to my video where I'm opening the... Yes. Yeah. Yes, you the can Kieran go, and Hari. The Kieran and Hari. Uh, if you go to that video, um, I think you might be able to see it. Yeah. We did. There. You should do like a room art tour. Oops. You've got some cool art in here. I should. I do. And it's funny. Uh, he said she was Alice in an old maze. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, is it... Um, Malice in Wonderland, because it kind of fits, because that had a lot of that, um, 
what's the word I'm looking for? Like, like that is it? Yeah, like is it called like day glow or something? I think you could call it fluorescent day glow. Fluorescent, yeah, yeah. But all that, I think it might. Is it from that maze? It's been a while since like I remember like Alice in Wonderland is such a like. Yeah, um, it can go borderline creepy. It is. Tommy yeah. Tommy says, "Oh yes, we know this." Catherine O'Hara played Delia Dietz. Oh, she and was. She also did Sally's great. voice in the Nightmare Before Christmas. Pretty much the same actors Tim Burton has in all of his movies. Yes, we've been watching a show with her in it. Oh, and she's so and funny. She's amazing. Um, oh yeah, there's so many people. I want to know who the guy is down there with the scratch on his face. Do you know who that is? Um. Oh, uh, the big claw marks? Yeah. Oh, he's in Ghost Town. Ah. Yeah, Jeff, the detail in this picture is amazing. It's amazing. Like, wow. You're, I'm, I think, obviously, I think that looks like digital looks painting incredible. to me, which is what I'm currently doing, but your talent of not only color choice to have all these different uh, monsters with su such different color palettes, even just between like having clowns next to ghost town characters to make it so the colors flow yeah. in such a cohesive way. So I, cool. It's incredible. That is a really great drawing. It's so nice because it sums up so much of the, like so much of Scary Farm. It's mm -hmm. not just one, you know, section. Which, don't get me wrong, that's nice, too, when people do that. But it was nice to see a blending of old and new and different, you know. Yeah, it's a fantastic and, piece, and you're yeah. extremely, extremely, extremely talented. Um, so. And Tommy says, and you have Danny Elfman. Yes, Danny Elfman is incredible. <gasps> He's great. Uh, he sings one of my mom's favorite Halloween songs, songs. ever. Yep. <laughs> Oingo Boys and Oingo Boingo. Jeff says, yeah, some old glow-in-the-dark maze with Alice in Wonderland theme. Catherine O'Hara is amazing. Yeah, she is. Yeah, Tim Burton cast a lot of the same characters. Johnny Depp, Helena, Mona, Connor. Um, he says, oh, you guys are too kind. Jeff says, oh, you guys well, are too kind. Well, seriously, I mean, obviously, that's art. Art takes a long time to get good at. And when someone has put so much hard work into really working on their craft, I gotta, you know, give the, hand out those compliments. Hopefully we'll be seeing more artwork from you soon, Jeff. Yes, maybe in the upcoming Halloween season. Yeah, hopefully. Um, Paul says, uh, I saw your older video from your Chloe Noel channel. All your old collabs and commercials are on the channel. Yeah, a lot of kid kids corners are on those oh my gosh i just watched clips. those recently <laughs> i just went back and i watched them and they oh they I, were so good the thing that has changed the most even if you go back and watch my channel trailer which don't don't do that but if you do you can hear that my voice was like <clears throat> Hey guys it's clean it's clean real life and here i am in my backyard my voice was like I sounded like I had a sore throat for all of my life. Uh, very raspy, but I feel like my voice when I hear it now versus back in those old kids' corners, it's changed a lot. It has. Paul, uh, I tell you what Paul said. Sunset Angel says, I miss the old rides at Camp Snoopy, but I like the new rides too. Funny you should mention that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I think um, the old rides at it, Camp Snoopy were terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> that one that would like the racer one that would like whip you around the corner so Linus's, fast. Like blankets or whatever. No, the Linus launcher is what is no, like with the blankets. It? I don't know. You, a car? I you were in a car, but oh man. Chloe actually did. In fact, that's kind of how we got um, closer with knots. Is Chloe actually did a little oh, yeah. promo video for Knott's. A commercial for the the three new rides. It aired on like commercial. I think it was like for their social media channel. Yeah, I think they might have done it like as an ad before, like YouTube videos yeah. as well as their channel and yes. social. Where she sort of introduced all the new rides with um, one of the guys from was he from marketing or operations? But yeah, they had a lot of fun. I'm not that. sure. If you get the chance, go back and. Uh, Look that up. I think it's on Knott's YouTube. 
Um, but it's on my uh, channel, my Chloe Noel well one as well. And then Jeff says he has no idea what to do this year. I'm sure it will be amazing. You should. Oh, someone should draw what the scary farm monsters are doing <laughs> during this time. During quarantine. Oh, don't we don't you we can't say the you words. Can say quarantine. You can't say the other word. You can. Yes. I don't want to risk it. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I would love to see what the, the monsters are doing. Oh, what all the scary farm monsters Oh my gosh, doing. okay, wait, how cute would it be if, like, you had, like, some of the, some of the ghost town monsters, like, baking bread, oh and, like, gosh. doing, like, the stereotypical quarantine activities. Which would be? Oh, it's what fine. Are, what are stereotypical quarantine Well, you know, activities? it's like everyone's, like, baking bread, or, like... I don't know. What are Online they? Online grocery shopping. Online gro Oh my gosh. And See you could the bride, be like, that's the great. <laughs> She's online grocery shopping. Okay, let me see. He said, haha, that's an amazing idea. And Tommy's talking about um, Elfman and Burton both have Instagram right now and I'm following there. Oh, cool. Ooh, we should go give them a follow. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> the ghost. And what would the chickens be doing? Chickens are know. probably running for their lives. I know. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're oh, one of yes, the others. Yes, we have to talk about what everyone's eating. Steven said he just made some homemade nachos, so she's so he's snacking on those <gasps> while watching Chloe do her drawing. Oh, wh what? <laughs> oh no! Are oh no! It looks like she has like chicken pox or something. If I turn up the the grain. Oh. Oh, because you gave her freckles? No, just because the skin tone, and then, oh, well, it doesn't look, oh, well, we, oh, that's a scale, uh-oh, don't want to mess with that, but, like, if you turn it all the way up, it gets, like, really red, but you want it to have a little bit of that grainy effect. That would be cute, I think you should do that idea. It would be cute. And okay. You should, do, you should do the the ghost town bride, and she's ordering online online shopping. That would be cute. <laughs> Jeff, who's your favorite not characters, scary farm character? Can we say that? Do you have a favorite? It's so hard to choose one. I really love the chickens, and I love the bride, but I love, I love the, the monkeys in Carnival. The I do monkeys too. in Carnival are great. Gigi said, that's a great idea. I'd love to see some of the Scary Farm Monsters wearing masks and making bread. That's great. <laughs> I know, that would be funny. Oh, my gosh. That would be extremely cute. We gotta have the texture. Good times. I yep. Love these. I love these chats because we get some good ideas. And we, we do get, get some fun ideas. Yeah. They're always fun. They are fun. Oh, I want to see Snoopy coming. Steven Tursen's looking amazing. Thank you. Thanks for always sticking with us, everyone. I know. I feel like I take forever, but then I, like, the whole time I feel like I'm rushing, and I'm like, okay, it'll, like, it won't take that long. It won't take that long. It'll only be, like an hour and it's already been an hour <laughs> so keep keep coloring yep um so it's an angel i wonder are they still continuing to make the knott's berry tale ride mm, I, oh, I have no idea i was wondering that the other day too me too i don't know guys i know you know we were, can't talk about knott's or else i'll cry <laughs> i'm so sad because they were actually planning this really cool of like opening event mm -hmm. i don't know if it's still going to be happening or if they've postponed it or how they're going to do it so i hope I'm very everything i know everything see. will work out i mean they're so great that they're probably right now spending every day being like what are we gonna do i know i know i think they had, they had just announced like there was a special thing for the party that they were gonna do and oh it's just super, super sad. Yep. Um, Carnival. That was a video game, wasn't it? I'm not sure. That won't. That's the name of one of the scare zones at at Scary Farm. Jeff says I was thinking of paying homage to Seymour, who hosted the very first <gasps> haunted yes. in 1973. Oh, that'd be so nice. What 
an is it an anniversary? No, it's not an anniversary for Scary Farm. It's like 47 years or something. Wow. I think it's 47, yeah. That's a great idea. Well, 73. Okay, that was dumb. Yeah. <laughs> I swear. I'm betting a thousand of these. Chloe, I know you all um, love the Halloween mazes, but there are real haunts waiting for you. Oh. Yes, we're going to have to do that. Paul, I think once Knott's opens up, we're going to have to go check that out. Gigi yes. says, or if not too creepy, the chickens could be making fried chicken. No! <laughs> That's uh, not okay. Desperate times call for desperate No! <laughs> Someone just posted, I don't know if any of you guys followed the Knott's Bray Farm Instagram, but somebody just posted the cutest picture of Rufus. He is the live chicken, or rooster, I guess you would say, who, I guess, wanders the grounds. He was actually sitting outside of the Notch Chicken to Go store. I mean, that's his decision. Jeff says, and, and both Sons and Angel say, they feel so bad for Notch. It was supposed to be such a big year. For I them. know. Oh my gosh. I'm telling you guys, I'll be honest. I've legit cried over it. Like, actually, I know I always joke, like, oh, I'm going to cry if you guys talk about Notch. But it, it, it just upsets me so much, especially knowing how much work they've put into this. I feel so bad that there was this awful timing. I know, and they had just announced that, like, package where you could win all, like, a huge, like, oh, I know. ticket package that you could win. And I know, they were just starting all the anniversary stuff, and, oh, it's just, it's just devastating. So we're going to color her little bandana or little so necktie cute. I don't know what you would call this it's gonna be this color because we're gonna kind of go with the the colors oh, so of not gonna be color? no he will be I just okay. it was filled in so gotcha oh yeah Dan said he saw that but it was, wasn't that so cute he looked so cute sitting there he was just like sitting there waiting like hey guys hey what's up it's me is it, you said his name was Rufus? Oh, yeah. He's, he's named. He's a named chicken. Oh, my gosh. Okay, guys. I have the funniest story to tell you. I think you guys are going to love it. So, do you know what the story is? I do. I want to tell you really quick something. Yeah. Angel says, if, if that thing that we're not supposed to mention doesn't end like um, until like next year, we can make our own maze. LOL. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That's, let's, let's, let's hope it doesn't come that. to that, think, though. Yeah, we're not going to think about that. Um, what were you going to say? Yeah, tell the story. Okay, so do you know the story yes. I'm going to tell? Okay, so one time we were walking back to the our car from Scary Farm. It had just ended. So it was late. So it was late, and it was like a Saturday, so it was like almost 2.30 in the morning. Yes. And there was this big group of people, and there were some people who were having a, really a lot time. of fun, yeah. a really good time, and then there was this big, buff, like, tattoo-covered big beard muscular well, guy you could walk by i don't know if any of you remember but there's the chicken bush the chicken bush it used to be at the end of like right before as the path meets the the parking lot there was a big bush and at the end of the night all the chickens would go and sleep there yeah and so these people were being really rowdy they were being so the loud well no no, were, no no they didn't stop to look there was this so they were being really loud and this big buff guy like was a just biker like guy. like biker man like he, <laughs> scary like six seven like this tall big scary over. guy was like shut up and everyone was like <laughs> scared like they froze it was silent and he's like the chickens are sleeping and that was just and he made everyone be silent oh, si silence and then everyone moved on everyone the well everyone then observed the chickens <laughs> yes and then moved the on chickens. Oh, Annette is back. Hello, Annette. Hello. Very good to see you again. Yeah, it was it was really funny. There was a lot of respect for the Knott's chickens. Oh, always. There has to be. There oh, has to be respect. Ears. I know, she's so cute. You should cute. make her earring blue, though. I should. Because mm. there's already red. But do whatever you think. My only thing is I get concerned because I read somewhere where people were like, you don't want to have a color palette that exceeds oh, like four color colors. Color. Ben says, or make it green. Because you oh, should yeah. find some green. Ben says, Ascot! 
all in like left. Oh. I had to do it with the cap. I'm sorry. Ask Scott. That's good. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was, it was pretty funny. Because when he started yelling, everyone got really like nervous because he was a big, a scary big guy. guy. Bald, shaved head, beard, like scary looking. And then he just yelled and everyone had to be quiet because the chickens were sleeping. They were. And it was perfect. It was really a good memory. What and other good... Goods... the chicken bread, I know! So I don't know where the chickens sleep anymore. <laughs> that was uncool. Yeah. But, um, let's see. Are there any good, like, other good scary farm memories that we have? That was a really good one. We have when it rained at Scary Farm. Oh, That's not a good memory. That's though. not a good memory. Oh my gosh. Okay. I do have a good <laughs> good scary farm memory. Um, it's kind of a silly one though. Well, it's kind of a horrifying one. Well then don't tell that one. <laughs> Which one? No. Oh. Um, okay, so we were in line for dark entities, right? Yes, yes, it I was. Don't know this story. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, I do know this story. Oh, yes, you do know this story. Um, so we were in, I, that is such an ugly brown. Hold on. This one. Is it the one yeah. when, the, when the rain was there, right? And there was, it was raining. And, um. Knox is not really set up. Knox isn't really, really set up for the rain. But right. there was this, like, like, there's, you know, there's the bathrooms at Knott's. And then there's, like, not porta potties, but, like, they're, like, the portable bathrooms that are in, like, trailers. Or like are, a, it's like they have them on movie sets where it's like a, it's not like a porta potty, but it's like a fancier trailer bathroom. Yes. But it kind so of, it kind of mimics the room of a bathroom. They have it at like concerts or festivals. Yeah. Like they're a, it's a nicer bathroom with like running water and the toilet flushes and it's, it's like got that. lights in it and stuff. And so, <laughs> and so, we're standing in line well, this and we like see this. My dark entities had like completely. Flooded. Yeah, and they're not. And really so set they're up for it. they're so trying to move like they're trying to like fix it and they're trying to like get the water out. And luckily, Dark Entities is like elevated on a ramp. I think all mazes yeah, have to be elevated of, so in case of anything like kind that. Of, and the area in that area is kind of like it's it sort of slopes down, so it made like this area where the water just like gathered. Oh gosh! <laughs> and there was this woman that was like, "I have to use the bathroom right now." And they were like, ma'am, ma'am, we can't let you in because the bathroom. We have to turn, move the trailer. Well, they had to turn the power off to the mm -hmm. bathroom because the water was just, it was it was all like a, like it had been flooded there. And so it's pitch black it's in the It's pitch bathrooms. black in the bathrooms. And this woman's like, I have to go to the bathroom right now. And they're like, ma'am, we can't let you in. And she's like, oh, fine. And then so she walks away. And then the employee leaves. And she runs in the bathroom, the pitch black bathroom and i feel like did they lock the door i, I feel know. like there was it something was... and we were just i remember you and me mom we were just watching this just baffled blown away it was yeah people are people yeah it's interesting it's very interesting oh bummer annette says she's not getting the notice for the live chats and that we're no. trying really hard um through this quarantine to um do every friday at three every Last friday week, at we were three a little late we we're at four um, but sometime in that three or four range. So if you're available, definitely. Um, I try to announce it on Instagram. I don't know if you follow yeah. Instagram. Um, but yes, I know. I'm sorry about that. It sounds like Sunset Angel's not receiving them either. So just know. I know. YouTube's YouTube not if you can. too good. Remember at three o'clock. Um, Steven said, by the way, I just oh. saw the Instagram post you did with the homemade dress your mom made from Amazon boxes. She did an amazing job. Thank you. Thank you so yep, much. Yep, that was her little her little quarantine project. And it, it looked really good. It was fun. I'm glad you had fun with it. Yes, it was fun. And frustrating. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember coming downstairs sometimes. She's like, it's not working! And I'll be like, okay. Yes, this... it, was a it was a little frustrating. Hope you're having fun. I had joked about, oh, something about that. Because I was watching too much Project Runway. That was it. And then someone said, you should make that. And so, of course, then I had to do it. Yep. But thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, I can't see the chat anymore. Yeah, I'm trying to keep up with it. Again, this is Sierra Sidewinder. Knott's roller coaster drawn as a person. She's a little camp counselor. And she's a cutie. 
And she's got Heelys. Yeah, I can't remember. How many roller coasters are left? A few. <laughs> Quite a few. Accelerator, we have Accelerator, Jaguar, Montezuma's, um, Timberline Twister, and Coast Rider. Coast, I think. Oh, oh yeah. I think I that's it. Coast Rider. I know. I never go on Coast Rider because the ah. line is so long. Sunset Angel said, are you going to do the Timberline Twisted Roller Coaster? Yes. Of course. that one. But yes, Chloe's got a good idea for that one. Is she, he's going to be a little camper. I just realized they give her like little Charlie Brown shoes. But oh, yeah, that is quite look. okay. That is cute. And she, her wheels are going to be this red color. But I need to do this one first. <laughs> I'm like, I'm getting too ahead of myself. Charlie Brown socks. That's so cool looking, Dan says. Oh, thank you. I know. There's I think they have Easter them. Eggs. Yeah, a couple of Easter eggs in this. You have Charlie Brown socks? No, I think not sells them. Yes. Oh, here we go. Stephen Turquoise says, Hi, I'm back. I went to the grocery store with my mom, and I made sure we went there and out as quick as possible. Good. Plenty of groceries for the next two weeks. Good job. Stay safe. Stay safe. We've been using Instacart, and uh, my mom is obsessed with it. She loves Instacart. Ooh, and that had a great, great story. She had her own story. Ooh. So, on September 13th, 2019, mm -hmm. my son and I got stuck on the Calico Mine Ride with other people. It was Friday the 13th. Oh, no. So she got to see the insides of Calico Mine Ride. Ooh, that's, that's cool. very interesting. And, and Annette, I don't know if you've been on our streams and heard from our resident paranormal friend. Yep. But he said that there was talk of, didn't he say the Calico Mine Ride might be? Oh, yeah. I, be I definitely hauntings. believe that it's haunted. All right. So here she is and so far. on Friday the 13th. Maybe there were some jokester uh spirits there maybe the drawing is stephen turquoise says the drawing is looking awesome love the character it looks great thank you i love her i think she's so cute i'm gonna i'm gonna say since it's getting to be a little late i think i'm gonna do minimal like shading and just kind of you know throw down some shadows and then try to leave it like more flat colors Oh, well, of course, you got to get the highlights because that's oh, the that's best so part. Annette, who's your favorite uh, Peanuts character? Did you, were you here for that? No, that was a long time ago. Oh, there's more. Same thing with Sunset Angel. I don't know, did Sunset Angel tell us his favorite? And it says, oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> Maybe the spirits were having a little bit of fun. Oops. Yeah, Sunset Angel says, I love the Calico Mine Ride. It's, you know, so it's, do it's I. It's such a great, <laughs> yeah, it's such a great, um, just experience that whole ride. It's not like it's a real thrilling or exciting ride, but it it's never just gets so old. Fun. Every time you go, like, it's just so much fun. It is. It's it's oh, pretty great. Steven Charles says you're an awesome artist, Chloe. Good job. Aw, oh, thank you so much. And Sunset Angel says agreed. And Annette says Snoopy's her favorite. Yay! Yay! We love Snoopy. Um, I feel like these streams uh, have really allowed me to get better at digital art because, oh boy, I was not good for a very long time. But I feel like, due to this, I feel like I've really gotten a lot better. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright. I'm really liking the way she looks. I think she's super duper cute. Let's give her hair some highlights. really like her I have to say I'm a big fan I think she is my favorite okay yeah 
good. She came out really good. I know. I'm really proud of her. Um, let's see. Are you going to have teeth? Is she going to have teeth? She does have teeth. Well, they're all one tooth. Oh, no, I don't. Oh, I'm I telling you, sometimes I've tried to do, like, the individual teeth look, and it does not well, work no, for me. Well, no, don't have individual teeth, but. Okay, here, here, here. Let's give her individual says, teeth. I went on the Calico Mine ride with a good friend of mine, and we both enjoy it. Who doesn't like it? And then Sunset Angel said the most truest words ever. No, I just meant, like, make Let's a give line. her no spiky <laughs> teeth. <laughs> so She's got Angel spiky said, teeth. Sunset Angel said the truest words. I love the smell of the water. <gasps> yes. Yes. Um, there, Steven now Tarr she says, got spiky teeth. <laughs> Stephen Tarr says, if I ever make a trip to California, I'm definitely going to have to make a trip to Nods so I can experience the coasters. I love roller coasters. Yes. Yep. Coasters are pretty fantastic. What's great about the Nods roller coasters is that there's something for everyone. Yes. If you're not a big roller coaster fan, you can still... There are still roller coasters that are not as intense, like Jaguar, that you can go on and enjoy, but it's not going to be like a, a huge thrill ride. Or if you love thrill rides, Silver Bullet and Hang Time are awesome. Yep, and Accelerator. There's yeah. something for everyone. And then, um, yeah, Annette, Annette says, it's awesome. It is, did you leave her teeth as spiky teeth? No, I didn't. Oh, okay. Sadly. <laughs> I mean, I could. She could have spiky oh, teeth. Oh, gosh. Too funny. Um, I will admit that even though you can't see it, today when I was, like, thinking her up, I was really, I thought of immediately of, like, Mighty B. I don't know if anyone remembers that show. Oh, yes. It was the Cartoon Network show, and she was a Girl Scout, or, like, yes. the B Scouts or something. And I don't know why, but I was, like, that just really inspired me to do this. Wasn't she, like, real crazy, though? She was crazy. She was nuts. <laughs> and then it says, I love the smell of the water. Yep, but who doesn't? That's like Pirates of the Caribbean, too. Like, you get that good-smelling theme park water. Theme park water is definitely a very different experience. <laughs> oh, oh, Pony Express! Oh, there oh we go. Oh, my gosh, yes! Good, good call. Ooh, what would you do for Pony Express? I feel like that would be the easiest one because it's like both based off of like a real thing in history. Well, I know, but you gotta think I'm, outside it's, the box. Okay, hear me out, guys. He's a horse person, <laughs> like a horse man. Yeah, Steven says I want to make my mom jealous by getting a pic with Snoopy, who is my mom's favorite peanut character. I'm telling you, Pete, Snoopy is the winner of the stream. Why is Everybody it making love Snoopy? Why is it making her outfit like so much? Well, Stephen, it's really cute too. Depending on the time of year that you go to Nods, Snoopy's actually dressed in different costumes, and it is the cutest thing. It really is. What's your favorite? Chloe? My favorite what? My favorite Snoopy costume? <sighs> I don't know. He's really cute in all of them. He's I like his little Halloween. Bunny. No, I like his little Halloween costume. I like his Halloween costume. It's really Easter Bunny. He's how so do you cute. how do you not prefer the Halloween costume? I feel like you've betrayed he a me. Vampire? He has his little mask on and a little cape. He's it's a adorable. <laughs> oh, she looks so good. I really like her. She's like my favorite one that we've done. You say that about every... <laughs> yeah, but I like mean it this time. <laughs> Mighty B was Nickelodeon show. Oh, it was Nickelodeon. Steven Turquoise came in and I remember watching that show. Yeah, Mighty B was good. She had a lot of chaotic energy though. She really that did and that's why I liked her. It's because I also have chaotic energy. Sunset Angel says that Christmas time is the best time to go to not. I mean, everyone's allowed to their time. own opinions. I'm sorry. Nuts. I'll be completely honest with you guys. After the 12 days of Knott's Miss, I don't think I can ever look at Scary Farm the same, Mary Farm the same way. That series well, <laughs> killed us because <laughs> well, we had to go to Knott's like, like for 14 last, times it feels like. For the last uh, three years, we've gone to Japan and we've come back from Japan in the middle, like, not the middle of December, but 
a, a week into December. So it doesn't leave us a lot of time then to experience Mary Farm. So I do love Mary Farm, but we haven't really experienced it because we, we've come back from Japan and not only do we have to try and do the Knott's Miss last year, but we're exhausted. Chloe got super sick this last year. Oh, time. yeah, super so duper sick. We didn't get to experience Mary Farm as much as we would have liked to. I think you need to fix your shoe on the right, like extend the little brown part out a little bit. What do you mean? This, By this one? Wheel? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, Mary Farm, Mary Farm is really, really, really fun. And let me tell you, Chloe, you have to admit, that the ice show at Christmas time. Oh, is the well, greatest. yeah. That's there's no doubt about it. As much as we love Beach Blanket Beagle, and as much as we've loved a lot of the shows at Nods, I think the ice show is our absolute favorite show. Anybody else agree with that? I mean, I disagree. Dan says yes. At Christmas is the best time to go. I'm assuming. And that said, I only got to ride the Iron Reef three times, but I loved it. I miss it, but I can't wait for Berry Tales. Us too. I liked Iron Reef. I thought it was fun. I mean, that's okay. Stephen Tarsus, <laughs> I was able to find my mom the kids book. It's the Easter Beagle Charlie Brown for her birthday this year, which was the day before Easter, 411. Yay! Aww. Happy birthday to Happy your mom. Happy birthday. Sunset Angel says, I really liked Iron Reef. I hate how they took it out. Yeah. I know. It was I fun. will be honest. I wasn't the biggest fan but that's okay you know I we don't have to it was something different you know it was something different it was interactive that you could play with I yeah thought that, that was fun but i think fairy tales is gonna be great all right i think she might be done guys i think she might be done let's just do a little oops that's a little thin Yeah, Dan says he loves the ice skating show as well. Here we go. There she She's is. She's finished. I feel like I'm getting my time down like a like a like an athlete that that's like good. trying to like like a swimmer that's trying to like lower their time. <laughs> it's like how long will it take? And then said I went last year to not swim for the first time and loved it. Um, the food was fantastic in the ice show and the ice she said so I'm assuming she means ice show. Stephen Turquoise says, I remember the last day of Iron Reef. It was good, my uncle and, uh, it was good with my uncle and my cousin, but I'm looking forward to Berry Tales when it's finished, and I'm looking forward to what they do with the shop and building. Yeah, the ice show was oh, amazing. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think there she is. Yeah, what do you guys think? I'm a, I'm a big fan of her. Her name is Sierra, and I love her. I'm telling you, I love her. She I think she's Annette, so she cute. She's awesome. And Thank Vincent you. Looks great, darling. Thank you. I love her. I think she's such a little cutie. I, just, I really am happy with the way she's turned out. Yeah, she's yeah. great. I noticed that there's definitely a color difference. She looks a lot, it's a lot pinker on my... Yeah. On, on phone. my phone. Yeah, no, it's good. Yeah, well, thank you so much. And, you know, since this is going to be a, it might sound a little awkward in the in the moment, don't forget to like and subscribe. <laughs> For those of, I mean, obviously, I know you guys are all, are all subscribed, but, you know, uh, my live streams will go up on my channel later. So be sure to hit a like, uh, be sure to comment. And subscribe. Turn that note. It's been so long since I've done like I a know. normal we have to do outro. A normal video. So don't forget to leave a like, <laughs> comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell um, so you're notified for I, more of these. I did notice, and Annette and and Sunset Angel, this might be part of the problem too. I know that when you hit the notification bell, it asks you if you want to be notified about all or if it's personalized. And maybe that's mm. where you have to hit the all button to be notified. Aw, oh, thank you so much, Paul <coughs> Perez. Um, so that means awesome. a lot. I feel like I've really been improving with my, my digital art. And Steven Tarr says, awesome sauce, Chloe. Thank Dan you. Dan says, yes, great photo. Gigi says, I love it. Aren't you going to sign it? Oh, yeah, you I did. That. John says, she looks like a, she looks like a Sierra. Looks great. And then Sunset Angel said she did sign it. Stephen Turquoise said, great job, Chloe. Drawing looks great. 
Thank Paul you. Paul Perez says you better you get better and better every week. Like, oh. That means so much to me. You guys are always so nice. I I really appreciate it. It's tough times, and your guys' wonderful, nice comments just make me smile. And I hope that my rambling can can do the same for you guys. I know. I love our yes. little story time. Yes, stay safe. <laughs> stay safe. I know. I feel like I'm scared we're going to run out because now we're not getting new stories. No, no. Everyone, everyone come with a new story next week. Yeah, we'll come <laughs> with new stories. We'll, we'll figure it out. This... Um, I really enjoy the live streams because obviously my videos are a little bit more, I don't want to say that they're structured. stiff, but they're like structured, structured and it's more because you, you know, sometimes you make a mistake and you have to, you know, restart it. And so it can start to be a little bit more structured. Like, yeah. And I feel like with these live streams, you really get like the real Chloe IRL, the yes. real Chloe in real life. And uh, and yeah, I mean we're just we're just hanging out in my room. It's really hot in here, so <laughs> yeah. Um, so Sunset Angel says, "What ride next?" I'm and not Paul sure. Paul Perez says she looks like a superhero, and Annette says, "Can't wait for the next." Annette, like I said, next Friday at three, if you can remember. Yep. Um, definitely show up. We'll try to be, you know we'll try to be here right at three, and I do list um, notifications. I try to to mm -hmm. do that. And next time, come with your streaming snacks. Yeah, streaming snacks and stories. Yep, <laughs> and maybe some Mountain Dew. Uh, well, thank you so much for joining me. It means the world. So thank you so much for for being here. And, and thanks I, for yeah. the super chats, guys. Thank you again for the super chats. Oh my gosh, I feel like a, I feel like a YouTuber every time I say that because <laughs> um, I watch the live streams and everyone's like, oh, thanks. So and so for the super chat. Now I get to say that. It's like, <laughs> but also, oh. even if you can't do the super chats, thank you thank for you, yeah. being here, supporting, liking. For all your comments. All of it makes a huge difference, and we really appreciate it. Your comments just mean the world to me. They make me so happy. So just thank you so much. And enjoy your night. Have a good yep. night. And a good um, weekend. A good weekend. For those of you, I know everyone's in different time zones, but. Have a good dinner or dessert. Yep. Or dessert. Um, and have a nice night. Have a good weekend. And I will see you all next Friday. Bye. Bye.